Hi, welcome to all. Uh, today we will learn how to install Docker in your operating system. So here we are installing Docker in a CentOS 8 operating system. So right now currently I'm using a CentOS 8 operating system. So you can do same similar steps for a 7 also. And if you want, you can use in uh, for a Red Hat also. Okay, so first we need to install a yum utils package why we need this package because here i need this command yum hyphen config hyphen manager so i need to add this repo so it is a docker hyphen c e dot repo it is it is on a official website download.docker.com so we can add this repo using a hyphen hyphen add hyphen repo command okay so let's go for a lab Okay, so let me copy it. So perfectly, we have installed this EM utils. Uh, so here it was uh, the repos was stream hyphen base os from um, there it was installed yum hyphen utils package and let's go for a okay let me add here repo so okay and let me do enter Okay, now successfully we have added how we can verify it we have added successfully or not. So uh, let me clear the screen and let me show you etc em dot repos dot d here ls hyphen lrt and let me show you last 10 lines only. So here you can see uh, we have successfully we have downloaded it from a official website docker dot download dot docker dot com. Okay, so here you will find out here docker hyphen c e dot repo and if you want you can read this file also okay so cat and docker hyphen c here and you can see so here all the repositories there okay so here you can see here and uh, it is a your repo ID and name of the repo base URL. Okay, here it is already enabled here. So we can enable using a command. So let me show right now. Okay, so I will show you yum uh, repo list here repos. So we will enable the repo using this command. So let me use the yum hyphen config hyphen manager enable. So we are enabling the repo id here so docker hyphen c is a repo id so here you can see repo id this is a repo ids okay so here let me enable after that you will see here also okay so already here one we have seen uh, enable that is docker c hyphen stable is now we want to enable this docker hyphen c nightly so already one repo is enabled there so you can see there and let me add others repo ids also okay so let me run this command okay and if you want to disable any repo so you can use a here instead of a enable uh, enable enable you can make a disable and you can disable any repo you can disable any repo using repo id using repo id so these are the repo ids okay so if you suppose for example if you want to disable this so you can use hyphen hyphen disable and extras so this repo name these are the repos name and it is a repo id so we need to give a here it is a repo ID. Okay, so let me enable it. Okay, so already we have enabled it and let me show you here repo list. Okay, so now you can see here now it's came here earlier it was not here. Okay, and let me enable. 
second one also docker hyphen ce hyphen test let me enable okay now let's verify me again okay okay so now you can see both uh, here so nightly and uh, here test ce test we both here now we have a three repos are enabled currently okay so we have done our part here let's go for installation so installation i can use here okay so let me use a y y means yes okay so directly i have given a y it means yes So now it is fetching the information from a respective repo. So these, okay. So now you can see it's installing three packages and these three, uh, these other remains packages are the dependencies. So it is installing the dependencies also. So download packages depend upon your internet bandwidth, how much time it will take. So here we have installed Docker packages successfully. So here you can see installed package here, successfully completed and here. So here we have started here and these are the dependencies here and this total 12 package was there and it has been installed perfectly. Okay, and now we need to start the Docker daemon. So how we can start it, system CTL and start docker okay so suppose boot time if you want to enable so we need to enable in boot time so we can use a system ctl enable docker so automatically your service will start at the time of boot time so we can use a enable and docker okay so it has created a symbolic link here okay so boot time automatically your docker service will start okay so let's check your docker version here docker version okay so let me use a head command okay now you can see here you uh, you will find out your client docker engine and it is a version name 20 point 10.7 api go version okay uh, you know uh, <laughs> docker and uh, kubernetes are written in a go language that was the reason it is came as a go version here okay that was the reason and os architecture is for linux and amd 64 build and it show the all the information here okay so now let's verify this docker uh, how we can verify uh, docker is perfectly installed or not so let's use a docker run and hello word okay so it will connect with a hub.docker.com okay first it will check locally here and after that it is connected here so now hello from here so this message show your installation appears to be working correctly okay now our installation have correctly fine okay and if you want to check docker ps okay and if you want to check aps hyphen a it will show you the image here hello world okay so this image already uh, in this system we have installed earlier so that was the reason it's coming here half an hour ago and now it's showing us a 20 seconds ago here okay and if you want to uh, run a avantu here and uh, a hyphen it means interactive mode here so let me run it here and you will run a avantu container here okay so let me run this here so now first it will find out locally here if it's not able to find locally then it will goes to hub.docker.com now it here it's pulling from a library avantu okay so 
so our total size is 28.55 MB. So it's downloading. So here uh, we have pulled the Avantu container. Now you can see we enter in Avantu here, here. Okay, so pull complete here. So IT means interactively mode, interactive mode. Okay, now we are in a container. We are inside a Docker container, Ubuntu. Ubuntu container and uh, let me show you here. So here, df space hyphen h, you can see here. So you will find out slash overlay here. So, okay. Let me exit from here. Okay. And Okay, so let me show you Docker PS. Okay, let me show you PS hyphen A, all processes. So you can see here, we have exited right now from a bash. So I want to, we have login, which commands here, bash and about a main tag. So you can ch check here. And if you want to check a image, you can use a Docker space image. You can see downloaded images here. Okay, so it is a images. Okay, so now you can see here. So first uh, here, uh, first it will check the locally. If it's not able to find locally, then it will download from a docker.hub.com. Okay, so first it will check your unable to find image. First it will check your locally here. And if it's not there, then it, then it will here connect with a hub.docker.com here. So earlier here, when we did a Docker run hello words here it find out locally that was the reason it's giving us a hello from docker this message show the, that there you that your installation appears to be working correctly okay so after that we try to pull a avantu image here and uh, it try to find first locally unable to find it then it pull the image from a docker.hub.com so thanks all. Thanks for watching this video.